First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Khalil Mack. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. After the sack, it's second and 19. And the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Foles. Foles is taken down. Akeem Hicks in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep, Tariq Cohen. This will be fielded at the 17. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. The NFC North champion Chicago Bears, they take the field here again on offense. Their first division title this year since 2010. They clinched it back in week 15 with that victory over Green Bay. Of course, Green Bay's had their number, especially in recent years. But what a season it's been for Chicago. And when you think about their previous four years, 5-11, and 6-10, and 3-13, and 5-11 and and again in 2017. Now they'll have at least one home game in Soldier Field in January. This is a big turnaround. And I'd say go ahead and engrave the Coach of the Year award to Matt Nagy, their head coach. And it also will seal hirings going forward. Sean McVay with the Rams in 2017. Matt Nagy with the Bears in 2018. Look for those offensive guys to get the first crack at these jobs. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Let's go, let's go. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. But well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Trubisky now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep is Darren Sproles. <laughs> A second nice move. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Philadelphia getting the football back here. And when you discuss the Eagles this season, it seems like every week we kind of go back and forth. Hey, they're, they're done. They're no, still they're alive. alive. They're done. No, they're, they're alive. alive. 
Yes. And that week 15 win, I don't think many people saw that coming against the Rams in L.A. I will guarantee many didn't see that coming for a couple of reasons. One, Philadelphia was coming off of a bruising battle. that They lost in overtime against Dallas. But Dallas ran, I believe, 90-plus plays against them. That's hard to bounce back from, yet they did it. Also, the Rams were coming off a game where they didn't play really well on the road against Chicago. We all expected them to get back in form at home. So, no, not many people saw that coming at all. Give Philadelphia credit. They've kept themselves alive for a possible playoff spot and a chance to defend their Super Bowl championship. Here's Foles. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run on first down. Adams. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and 10. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. Now Foles. And complete to Zach Ertz. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. A big seam, and he might go all the way. He's at the 30. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, and he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Mike Bennett in there to sack him for a loss of six. Now, that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And this is caught at the 8. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, a 22. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. They've got it first and goal at the 7. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. 
And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. On third and goal, Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I'll give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Leonard Floyd with a big-time sack on third down, and it'll be a loss of seven. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Dancing away at the 35. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. And that is incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Second and 10 now, it's Trubisky. He's gonna dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a, been a story. long night. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Trubisky to Gabriel there for a Bears first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? 
That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now Trubisky on first down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Again, it's Trubisky. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and they're going to face a third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And Parkey's kick is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They go play action here on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A gain of six there on first. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. He'll look to throw. And Tate's got it. Golden Tate's gonna go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Golden Tate, 72 yards. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On first down they run with Howard and he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line. Corey Graham brings him down. They tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. This is Howard on second down. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two, now third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now Trubisky on third and long. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. And down to the 44, five yards that time. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down now, Adams. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They give him a gain of 37. 
That was a nice pickup. Some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there, a little run after catch, and it came on a crossing route. I could just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does a defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it, because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action. Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Sean Jeffrey, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Elliott on for the extra point. Elliott good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. go counter with Howard and he powers his way up past the 30 defensively it was Avante Maddox with a tackle and that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns it confuses the blocking assignments it doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level the Bears on third down 0 for 3 to this point they could use a conversion this is third and nine From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. And now it's second down. Hey, we got a second here. Let's go back to week 15 following the win over Green Bay for Chicago. Happiness rained down on the field. The Bears claiming the NFC North title, but one Bear took his celebration to an extreme. I know you saw this. Yes, I certainly did. Charles Leno Jr., left tackle for the Chicago Bears. Got down on a knee and proposed to his girlfriend, Jennifer. So not only celebrating an NFC. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Chris Long in there to sack him for a loss of six. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. 
From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Chris Long in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The drive starts with a handoff to Adams. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, Adams. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Taken in by Wallace. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back to throw now on first down. Over the middle. It's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's second down. I do want to take this time to mention that the next few months, very big in the competitive Madden Championship Series. A few weeks ago, we saw Skimbo go back to back. That's right, back to back, second go, straight go. year. You're fired up. And then next up, the Madden Challenge, and it's a $190,000 prize pool, and the ladders to qualify for that tournament now available in Mutt Draft Mode. Exciting thing. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. You think you're going into halftime with a good size lead? Not so fast. That pick six really changes the complexion, probably also changes the halftime speech. No doubt about it. Instead of going in relaxed, you're probably a little more uptight right now, probably a little bit angry. Let's see if they can get their focus back. Parkey adds the extra point, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And out now come the Eagles. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And this will be incomplete. A partner like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and Thank everyone you. out there in Madland as well. And hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful Morning. holidays for all. But as you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of, a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate <laughs> that big chest. But enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Adams. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Pushing through the contact. A great return there of 22 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Throwing here, Trubisky. Flush to his right. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And part 
Rocky's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now it's Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Get him, boy! Get him, boy! Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Trubisky with the give to Howard. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. And the tackle there by Chris Long. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now it's Trubisky. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. That goes in the category of a play that the defense is going to cherish and excites them. A completion, yes, you give up the pass, but no gain. I mean, that's exactly what you want on defense. And sets up the fourth down. <laughs> Nifty move. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Hey, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Here's Foles. Burks over the middle. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. A carry for Adams. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation, already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. set him back five. Yeah. 
Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. That one goes for 24 yards. Foles now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. Now Adams. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now Foles. Incomplete. It was the veteran Prince Amukamara that time who had the play covered from the start. Now the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Back to throw here. He's got his man. That's Wallace. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call oh, guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has in total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. Again, they'll run it. Again, it's Foles. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. The Eagles on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. They'll set up a throw. Screen pass to Sproles. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. <laughs> On second down, Adams. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And the kick by Elliott is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we gotta go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something bonds to be gained from it. A good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On the handoff, this is Howard. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Trubisky now off the bootleg. That's caught by Howard. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And now running right through it. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tall. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Now a play fake here on first down. Taken down, a bear sack. Khalil Mack in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. 
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Darren Sproles. And it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Eagles on third down, five out of nine thus far. This will be third and 15. They'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. The Eagles send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll begin the drive with Howard, and he'll power his way up near the 25. Nigel Bradham brings him down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So he's signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Now that's the way to do it. Handed to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On first down, Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Trubisky finding the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, 
but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now Trubisky on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Second and 10 now, it's Trubisky. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll lead here to a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Trubisky to throw again. Finding Gabriel complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Corey Graham. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. Here it's third and two. On play action, they'll throw. Open man, the tight end, Rodgers. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and six. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. 
A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And they'll run it here with Adams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. A dump off to Sproles. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking deep for Gabriel. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to with you and your brothers. Just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Trubisky, draw play, gives to Howard. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. It's picked up. Remember, the ball is live. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. As his guys are in for six. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Partners, you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Elliott good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now the return man, this is Benny Cunningham. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field.
Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And incomplete on the deep ball. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. Wide open receiver complete. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And this one is incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. A give to Howard. And he gets it down to the 32. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now it's Trubisky. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're gonna rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And this will be off the right upright, but he banks it in. A high degree of difficulty there, but he gets it to go. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Parkey now following the main field goal to kick this one off. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. 
They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Hey. 180. They'll run again with Adams. And now the Bears are going to signal for another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's where this crowd can really help make things difficult. It's third and three. On third down, it's Adams. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run on first down. Adams. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On second down now, Adams. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just about write a finish to this one. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire <laughs> week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.